Hey everyone and welcome to the Financial Madness. My name is Kozan and on this channel I will be teaching you ways on how to be better with your money. So for this first episode we're going to be talking about budgeting. Um, now budgeting really is the foundation for anything personal finance. So um, as boring or as scary as this may sound, we really do need it. Um, before we go into that, I just wanted to give you a quick background on, on who I am and why I decided to make these videos. Um, so I'm 27 years old and I live in London and about two and a bit years ago, uh, me and my brother had an idea um, to make a bit of side money to buy a house and then rent it out to people. Um, we watched Homes on the Hammer and then we thought, oh, we can do that. Um, turns out we couldn't. Um, buying a house was a lot more expensive than I imagined. Um, and buying to let a property is a whole lot more expensive too. So that kind of scrapped that idea. Um, and then I was sort of in a, in a pit where I was like, okay, but then how do people do this? How do people buy houses? How do people have a family? How do people pay for a wedding or, or go on loads of holidays or pay for an education? It just boggled me. And, um, and no one ever really taught me this. So um, I took it for myself to um, pick up a few books um, listen to some podcasts, uh, read some website articles, a lot of the stuff I'll be referencing throughout my series um, and because they really helped me and I, I would love it if, if I helped someone as well. So um, yeah, and it's been two and a bit years now. Um, I'm in a lot better position financially. I kind of know where I'm going with my money. And as of last Thursday, um, my estate agent confirmed that the offer on the house that I put down was accepted so hopefully I'll be a first-time buyer as well um, which would be really exciting um, so yeah um, but all of this wouldn't have happened if I didn't take this first step which is budgeting um, I'm gonna demonstrate a template that I used um, when I was at the very beginning of my uh, personal finance journey um, and yeah hopefully it will help you guys it's a template so feel free to change it or do your own thing on pen and paper it's totally up to you um, but yeah, so let's just go straight into it. So welcome to my snazzy Excel spreadsheet. Um, so I've devised this into three sections. We've got income, fixed outgoings, and variable outgoings. Um, I'll go into a bit more detail on each one. We'll go through them quickly. Um, and before you guys start on this, um, it's really important that we be specific with the amount of money. Um, particularly on bills. Um, it might be hard when you're working out averages because obviously um, if we take into account how much we spend on food, um, it can vary month to month, um, but just sort of take a, a rough estimate. But do go through, but do validate those estimates through your bank statements or, or, or anything else like that. Um, because if you're doing wild guesses on bills, particularly if you round them up, round them down, those little pennies or pounds do make a difference. So for the first bit is the income. Um, this is quite self-explanatory. Um, so this is where anywhere where you get your money. Um, for most people, this would be um, a monthly salary. Um, I've just taken um, an average of what the UK Brit currently earns. Um, according to the Office of National Statistics, Statistics um, this is £1,888 per month um, as of 2018. Um, of course, you can have other, other forms of income, whether it will be maybe from dividends, from an investment that you have, or uh, pensions, if you've got a pension going, or any other um, income that you might be getting as well. Please make sure you put it all down here. So fixed outgoings is anything where we are obliged to pay um, every month to keep up with our standard of living. Um, so this will include things like rent or mortgage, travel, um, gas and electric, water bills, etc, etc. So I'm just going to quickly go through um, my current situation so you kind of have a feel of, of how this spreadsheet works. So um, my spread, uh, my rent is 575 per month, uh, which isn't bad for London. Um, my travel for a zone 1 to 3 I think is £162.90. Uh, gas and electric bills is 27, 24.71, sorry. Uh, water is just ten pounds. Um, internet is eight pounds fifteen. Council tax thirty eight sixty seven. I don't actually pay home insurance. Maybe I should, but I'm only renting, so uh, that's fine. Uh, car insurance I pay off a year, but that kind of roughly works out to twenty. Sorry, thirty eight pounds per month. Uh, phone contract I pay ten pounds a month. 
her groceries. So this is where you have to do an average. So I roughly spend around 20, 250 to 300 a month. So I'll just meet somewhere in the middle, so 275. Gym membership, I don't go. <laughs> um, and then you know, we have space for, for any other outgoings that um, might be applicable. I try to put in sort of general examples that I think most of us will accommodate to, but obviously please feel free to change. So as you can see um, at the bottom here, it already tallies up how much we're spending um, on our fixed outgoings. And this comes to £1,142.43. And quite a lot of percentage of our income is going on, on our fixed necessities. Um, so now we move on to the variable outgoings. Um, so these, where this is where I say you kind of need to work on an average because one one month you might go to a restaurant more often because you might have several birthdays. Um, that's October for me, October and November. Um, um, whereas other rush, uh, well, other months when maybe it's a bit colder, you probably just stay home a bit more. So try and just average it out, do your best. Um, so for a restaurant, I probably work, it probably works out to be maybe £35 pounds a month. Um, work lunch, I actually know this because, um, so I spend around about £8 pounds a day on work lunch. So five times a week, it's 40, so that's uh, £160. Pounds. Theatre, big theatre go with me, so probably go about £40. Pounds. Um, shopping, I don't really do shopping that much, so I'll put maybe £20 pounds a month. Going out, out, I'm quite a cheapskate, so um, loads of pre-drinking for me at Tesco's, um, well, alcohol from Tesco's. Um, and then holidays probably works out to be £30 a month. Um, so on my variable outgoings, I'm roughly spending around about £315, pounds, um, which again makes up 17% um, of my income. So on the right-hand side, it kind of tallies up everything quite nicely for you. Um, so every month I earn £1,888, um, which is the total of my income. Um, I have to pay my, my fixed outgoings, which is £1,142.43. And I choose to pay £315 on my variable outgoings. Um, all in all, every month, with my, once I pay off everything, I tend to have 430 pounds and 57 pence left over. So this gives you a good indication of how much you're getting and where your money is going. Um, so if you are in the red, um, obviously this should be of major concern to you. We should always try to strive to be in the green or on zero. Um, I know it's not easy for, in certain cases, but we do really, it's just not sustainable really to be in red and, and you will find yourself getting into massive financial um, issues later down the line. But we'll go into debt in a bit more detail in a further episode. Um, but the good thing with this spreadsheet is it really highlights to you how much portion of your money is going where. So in this case, I can see 61% is actually going to my fixed outgoings. But if I look closely into the itemized list, I can see 30% of it is going on my rent. Um, if I was in the red or if I wanted to make a bit more money, perhaps maybe I can think about downsizing the house or maybe finding a better deal or moving in with a friend or a relative to really save some money. So where you're most likely going to be saving your money is in this variable outgoing section. Um, these are sort of the nice bits that we take advantage of. Um, I put work lunch here as an example. I figured out I was spending about eight pounds a day um, on work, or on lunch while I was at work, which doesn't sound so much, but when you accumulate it over, the, over five days a week um, and uh, four weeks in a month, that's 160 pounds. That's almost two grand in one year which is a lot of money um, and as you can see it makes up eight percent of my um, my monthly income so this is something immediately I fixed I stopped eating work lunches where I can uh, and converted to um, making a packed lunch from home and bring it into work or on those odd days where I was feeling lazy I would actually just go to to boots and buy a cheap fridge sandwich which is always joy um, to be fair some of them are really nice the chicken fajita wrap quite good cool so that's it for this week's episode if you like what you saw please click uh, subscribe and hit the like button um, and leave a comment below all the best bye